Disclaimer! Ooh, I fucking love it! On August 22nd, 2020, Matt Reeves went on to the DC Fandome event and gave us our first official look of the new Batman movie coming out in 2021. And oh my god! God, I am so excited. So let's waste no time and get right into my detailed thoughts on this trailer. Opening up, we'll get the Warner Brothers and DC logo zooming out and in, but there's the pace of those duct tape sounds, which I think is a really nice touch. We then get to finally see in full HD the Riddler victim that was leaked a while ago, and oh my fucking God, does it look so good. It truly sets up how dark this Riddler is going to be. We then get to see the police investigating the crime and our first look at Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon, and I gotta say, I'm fucking sold. He's no Gary Oldman, but my god, he might end up making it as my second favorite live-action Gordon. Following that up, you get to see the bat, but just only his feet. Which is kind of interesting, because prior to this, the only thing we got to officially see was just the head of Batman. Either way, it looks so fucking cool looking. I really like how homemade the suit already looks, and there's something about the cape that just looks so unique compared to all the other adaptations, and it's just so good. We start hearing Gordon reading off the riddle, which I love because it gives more excitement for the Riddler, making us have to wait before we can finally hear his voice. And then we finally get the first ever official body shot of Batman, and oh my god! It looks so good, it looks so good, it looks so fucking good! I love the more mechanical look of it, it feels like a homemade Arkham Knight suit, and I am absolutely sold on the cowl. My biggest concern with the cowl was how the forehead was gonna look and all the fan art and the leak photos, it kind of looked odd. But in here, I think it fits really well. And then, of course, we have Robert Pattinson's orgasmic jawline, like, my god. And I just love how Gordon asks Batman a question, but we don't even get to hear the answer. It's just more teasing at what Robert's Batman voice is gonna end up sounding like, which is something that I'm pretty sure is on everybody's mind when watching this. We then cut to a press conference where nothing's being said, and then a shot of Robert Pattinson and I guess his second bat suit, because immediately after that he's putting on a motorcycle helmet and riding off back to the bat cave. So I can only assume he made himself look like this so nobody would be able to detect that it was Bruce Wayne. We get to see an outside shot of the Wayne Manor Road, which reminds me a lot of the road going up to the Wayne Manor in Batman the Animated Series. And then we get our first look at the Batcave, and it looks so underground and in beta, and I just absolutely love it. You really do get the vibe looking at this that Bruce hasn't been Batman for long. And we also get to hear Andy Serkis as Alfred, and any doubt I had of him being Alfred is just gone. He has brought in the classic voice of Alfred, and I love it. Love it. Then we get a shot of Bruce Wayne and just Robert fucking looks like Bruce Wayne, like he was born to play this role. And then this shot right here, you can just feel the anger seething through Bruce, which is so fucking good. It reminds me of Arkham Origins, how it's around the time Bruce is starting out, like his first or second year. And he's just so pent up with anger, and he's much more of a violent Batman, which does also get shown later on in this trailer. But we'll get to that when we get there. We then get a shot of someone sneaking into a building and working on unlocking a safe, and just telling by the way the body is positioned, you can easily tell it's Catwoman. And then we just get this very quick shot where you get to see a little bit of cat ears. It's so fucking beautiful, and it really makes me want to see Zoe's performance, because this scene alone makes her look so believable. Then after that is this quick shot of the penguin, which I didn't even see the first three times I saw this trailer, and oh my god, how is that Colin Farrell? How is this, this? The costume designer and makeup artist who did this deserves an award, because holy shit, this looks like such a fucking great penguin. Again, any doubt I had of Colin Farrell being the penguin is fucking long gone. We then get another shot of Batman, a set of probably penguins goons, what I think is Bruce creating his bat suit, Batman fighting a cop, Catwoman on a bike, someone getting shot by the penguin, Catwoman Batman fighting, Batman getting exploded by I assume is the Riddler but in hiding, or it could just be someone that Riddler hired to take his place in the public, or a Riddler goon. And then we get the best fucking scene in this entire trailer. The hell are you supposed to be? In my pants. Oh my god, there is so much about this that's so good. The brutality that is the action. I heard somewhere that Robert Pattinson was trained by the same guy who trained Keanu Reeves for the martial arts in the John Wick movie, and it fucking shows. Honest to god, the hits in this scene alone feel like every time I pummel a goon in the Arkham games. Then we finally get to hear Robert Pattinson's Batman voice. Something we have had to wait to hear for a minute and 45 seconds, and it's so fucking 
good. It sounds so natural. Like, it's not a voice modulator like Ben Affleck's or forced like Christian Bale's. It sounds a lot like Michael Keaton's voice, where it's just so smooth and natural, and I love it. You know what I also love? The fact that he doesn't say, I'm Batman, like you'd expect him to. Instead, he says, I'm Vengeance, which to me immediately made me think of the most iconic line from Batman. I am Vengeance. I am the Knight. I am. Batman. I'm not saying that I want him to repeat that entire line, though. That is something that only Kevin Conroy should be able to say. After that, we get a few shots of the fucking amazing Batmobile that looks like a more modern take on the 66 Batmobile. And it's really nice and refreshing after getting two tanks. Don't get me wrong, I liked the tanks, but I also just really like this one. It continues feeding into that homemade feel that this Batman is bringing, making it look like Bruce just took one of his Dodge Chargers and made it into Batman's car. Then we get Batman getting shot and him going up a flight of staircases, which, to be honest, makes him look the clunkiest in this entire trailer. But I do like the use of the grappling hook, and I really hope we get more of his gadgets like BVS did. And then we end on seeing a bit more of the Batcave, and then we finally get to hear Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne instead of Batman. You're a part of this too. He truly fucking sounds depressed and angry, oh my god. And we also get to see how realistic this movie is gonna be by showing Bruce in the black-eyed makeup. Something that's been a thing ever since Michael Keaton, but always just miraculously disappears after the mask comes off. Also, I'm really interested in what the you're a part of this too means. My guesses are either Bruce is a part of the Riddler's plan to take down Gotham, and Bruce is asking how because he has a different way of doing it, and he views the Riddler's way as wrong, or that Bruce is a part of the GCPD, and Bruce is asking how because he might not like the GCPD. Overall, I fucking love this trailer, and it's made me so goddamn hyped for the movie. And hearing Matt Reeves of Fandom talking about the movie and how even a question that could be five words would spark this long-winded speech from him really shows how passionate he is about this movie. Not only as a Batman film, but just a film in general, and it's made me really happy happy seeing that and really hopeful. Gotham looks so dark and gritty, and the way Matt Reeves explained how he wanted to build Gotham kind of sounds like Tim Burton mixed with the animated series but in real life, and any doubt that I had of the Batsuit is just gone even down to the weird things on his arms. They just don't bother me seeing it in here, and uh, uh, Robert Pattinson. The second I stopped being a little bitch about how he was from Twilight and started listening to other people, and also seeing interviews with the dude and how he hates the fucking Twilight movies, I had my full faith in him for this performance, and this trailer fully proves it for me. If people see this trailer and still think Robert isn't capable for the role, they're fucking delusional. I need to make sure I fucking said that right. Fuck you, Dan. And fuck you, Jonas. I'm just really hyped up for this movie than I ever was, and the fact that this trailer was made with the movie only being 25, 30% filmed makes me so incredibly more hyped. Hey guys, that's the video. What did you think of the Batman trailer? Tell me in the comments down below. Pattinson haters has been real quiet since this drop. <laughs> if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you like seeing content kind of like this and also because I got a big ass Batman series in the works. I'm on Twitter and Instagram where you can get occasional updates, memes, cat pics, and specifically on my Twitter you can see my live reaction to everything that I cared about from DC Fandom, including my initial reaction to the trailer. I also make music, so if you like genre-bending instrumentals, that's on YouTube, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, and Spotify. And I also have a public community Discord server called Hellworld, Weebs and Memes. So if that title alone interests you, or the fact that you'd be joining a server that can supply you with over 75 Weeb and Meme emotes, along with the fact that we also have some Weeb-based games, or you just want to help build a community, then links to that is in the description and comment section. Have a good day. Peace out.